Good afternoon everyone, hope everyone's safe and well. Uh, Brad is just holding the camera for me, again, he's an absolute legend. So we are doing another Dutch barn. And we're so lucky that we this is our second one within 10, 20 meters of each other, Brad. Yeah, yeah, it's Because yeah. yeah. here's one we prepared earlier. So we built that, did everything you see there. Then we're going to come back in April and do the landscaping when the weather's better. But we are now constructing this one. So the one we're on now that Brad, Bailey and Lee, our manager, have been working on, have got the roof on. And I'm going to talk to Brad as if he's on the camera as well. So, Brad, we've got... We've constructed all the steel, yep. got all the steel in, done our concrete floor yep. with a cage in it, put all our uprights in, and then we've put... Um, uh, two by one buttons along the Z purlins at 400 centers. Brilliant. Uh, so that we could screw our first layer of OSB board down to that. Yeah. Um, and then Hold on, let me just so you can see. <laughs> so how have we done this, Brad? Right, so we put uh, uh, two by one buttons all, all along the Z purlins. Yep. And all the ply. That gives us our fixing points for our first layer of ply. Yep. Uh, once we've done that, we stagger our joints and go over again with a second layer because the spec says we need to have 18 mil worth of OSB. But it's easier to bend two sheets of 9 mil ply instead of one sheet of 18. Brilliant. Um, so we do that. We go over it again, but we stagger our joints so we kick off with a half board instead of a full board and then that way every half board falls where in the middle of where a full board would fall um, after that we put our dpm on which is our damp proof membrane just what, so, what fitness 1200 gauge yeah 1200 gauge that's it yeah brilliant uh, and then we uh, laid our 120 mil celotex or insulation over the top so it's a warm deck roof um, we uh, what do we do? We we screw it down. Yeah, yeah. We, well, we screwed it down, but we ran a saw blade along it uh, every 150 just to get it to bend to the curve of the roof as well. Ah, oh, cool. And so because the yeah. Celotex is dense, yeah, 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 and it's quite rigid, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've yeah. run a blade through the Celotex yeah. to give that curvature. Yeah, every 150 mil, brilliant. Three mil thickness of the blade, and it just gives it that nice bend just to form to the roof. Brilliant. And then after that, we go again. We put another layer of ply on. Uh, and then we use 180 uh, screws to screw into the into the Celotex and to the ply underneath the Celotex. So everything's interlocked so, and all secure. Yep, yep, correct. And then this is ready now for. It's ready. Well, once, once we get our last once we get our last layer of ply, uh, of OSB on over the top of this layer, yep. then it will be ready to be tarvecked. Yep. Uh, that could be screwed down, and then we'll have metal line come in. Uh, and do the metal sheeting like over the road. Brilliant. So now we're going to just jump downstairs and Brad's going to tell me what we've been doing downstairs. So look, as you can see, you can see our layers here. So what he's got, he's got his two sheets of ply, then his membrane, then he's got another, as you can see, look at the slits down there, just so you can get the curve. They've sellotexed it, then they've got another two sheets of nine mil ply. I'm just reiterating what everyone's done here. Then they've taped all the sellotex with foil tape, which is brilliant. And so well here. Yeah. So we'll go downstairs. Yeah, you can talk to me about the yeah. everything. Is that all right, Lee? If we jump downstairs, perfect. So cool. If you just bear with me a second, we're going to walk downstairs safely. I'm fine. Yeah, mate. There's Brad. <laughs> yeah, there. I'm yeah. mate. <laughs> You can't get more real than this, can you, Brad? <laughs> not at all, mate, not at all. Uh. Right. So, sorry, guys. So, we are on the first floor. Um, as you can see, we've got loads of timbers. So, they started to construct our timber frame. So, I'm going to pass the phone back to Young Brothers, and he's going to... So, as you can see, Brad, yep. if you show people how we've curved the timbers, then we put two by two on, what are they called? On purlins. The Z purlins, yep. Perfect. <laughs> and then they've run two, is that two by two or no, two by one it's, button? It's, it's two by one button, but it's been doubled up uh, to bring us down below the steel arches. Yep. Um, so that we can then plaster the board afterwards. So we're going to have a great big, beautiful curved vaulted ceiling because we want to keep the character of this building. But obviously, the client wants storage, so we've got a dressing room here and then an ensuite yep. and a bathroom. Yep. Uh, and they're going to have a flat section that we're going to ply, as there. you can see. Cool. And then we'll just walk around. Mind your step. 
And then you start to see it all coming together. Brilliant, look at this. Absolute brilliant. So we've got quite a bit of flat section, really. Yeah, we do now, yeah. Yeah, we do, just because of storage and everything. And this is all going to be open, isn't it? Yeah, that's going to be a big, yeah, there's a big void there in the floor. Cool. And a big glass panel or window uh, on the wall. So you'll be able to see out into yeah, the countryside? Okay. Yeah.